hello welcome back to our channel this is a, another advent style unboxing video i'm gabs one half of slip slip sis um we do podcasts unboxing sometimes travel vlogs yarn crawl vlogs um those kind of knitting journey videos so this one is um from i want to give away from Fiberology Dye Works on um, this giveaway on Instagram where you would, you get, I think it was 10, um, almost 20 gram minis uh, that she used for like samples and swatching. Um, so me and another uh, knitting friend won the giveaway. And we, and I got them in November but then never got a chance to work with them. So now I'm using them and working with them for my dinosaur blanket, as well as to finish up my cozy memories blanket. And then I started a new blanket. So um, I've, there are 10, I have opened three of the 10. I'm getting the feeling that they're all from the King Arthur collection um, or Camelot collection because the first one was, I think it was like, I dreamed I was an architect, which I think is a quote from the Lady of Shalott. And then I, and then one's called Morgause, which I think is a reference to like Morgan Le Fay. And then the third one, I'm positive, is Lancelot, which is you know, a knight of Camelot. So I've been opening them. They've been really cute. The first one um, went into my cozy memories and was used to start my next hexy blanket. I am definitely in my crochet blanket era. And then the red that was more gauss is going into a Christmas sweater. I'm saving for Christmas in July. Uh, we do vlogmas for Christmas in July every year. And then uh, the Lancelot one I haven't skeined up, but it is going into my dinosaur blanket. So I'm seeing three of the 10 colors. I really love um, Fibrology's work. I have another full skein of hers. Uh, it's called Death on the Nile, and I'm using it for the Stephen West, West M. Cow, which I absolutely love. I also love Agatha Christie and specifically Poirot Mysteries and Miss Marple. Not as a, much of a fan as Tommy and Tippence, but I love Poirot. Poirot is my favorite, followed by Miss Marple. So hopefully, I'll get a couple of her. Agatha Christie colorways because that's those are my favorite. Day five. These things are, um, they're tied pretty tight, so it's a little bit tricky to get them open. I always feel like I'm gonna have to cut it, but I do want to save the bags so I can reuse them if I do another advent over the, got it, uh, over this Christmas. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this is day five. Is that right? Uh oh. I think I'm supposed to have day four. Hold on. Oh my gosh. It was supposed to take me day four. Well, day five is prepped now. Let's do day four. Try again. This is this is tricky. This is a tricky one. It's a very it's tied very tight, but that's okay. It's secure. Well, ooh, I'm so glad you can only see my eyeballs. Excellent. Okay, day four now. Ooh, 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 this is nice. This is, it's called Walking Street, but I'm not sure what that's from. Um, so I think it's too pinky to go in my, um, the dinosaur blanket so it's gonna go for the cozy memories my and my coastline hexi blanket and the granny square advent so it's gonna go into three blankets and Chaley's magic nutball which is how I've been using these up but this one 
It's got really nice pinks and blues. Let's see, I'm going to, here, if I pull this, I think you can see it a little bit better. All right, I'm going to skein it up and put it, pop it into three blankets so I can make progress on three things, which probably won't be done by tonight. That's all right. Um, and then tomorrow, which I kind of accidentally already saw, um, it'll be great for the crochet blanket. My goal is to do one of these a day because they are a little bit larger, 20 gram skeins, and then kind of be done with my advents. I only have like one advent left and I'm saving it for um, Christmas in July. So, cause it's really, it's like green and red. Um, cause I see, I can see it. So that's what I am. I'm on day four. So I just opened um, my sixth mini skein. Two of the mini skeins have been a little bit too bright to go in my dinosaur blanket. So they are going in my Coastline Sunburst blanket, which is my Nautical Crochet. And then two of the colors were perfect for my dinosaur blankets. And then one was bright red, so it's going into my um, Christmas in July sweater that I'm saving. So, so far so good. They are just shy of 20 gram minis, I think. Maybe they're 15 gram minis. Regardless, they're very fun and exciting. So I'm hoping to be done opening them um, by the end of this weekend, um, but I will get waylaid for knit for food. And then I'm done opening all the advents until July. So hopefully I'll get back to working on my two, my only two languishing whips that have gotten no work. And then finishing my cozy memories blanket because I'm done. I'm ready to be done with that, buddy. I've been working on it for truly not that long. Some people work on a cozy memories blankets for years. Mine's only been like actively working on it, maybe eight months, but just over it. Um, so yeah coming along on all of it. I only have two more colors of my Fiberology Dye Works little, I guess it's kind of an advent. Um, so the colors so far have been pretty muted. Um, I opened one last night, it was a blue, it's called Merlin, um, which is obviously from her Camelot collection. And it's a little bit too bright of a blue to go into the dinosaur blanket. So that will become part of my various scrappy blankets. It will go into the Cozy Memories. It will go into my new Hexy blanket, my new Granny Advent, my, not new Granny Advent, but my Granny Advent, and then the Magic Knot Ball for my sister. So that's how I've been kind of using those up if I don't have, if they're not going into the dinosaur blanket. And then I have two more colors and I'm all done with basically all of my Advents. Uh, that I'd been trying to catch up on, which feels great because it was so many and it was so overwhelming to have so many of them. There were four of them and I was just like, whew, it's a lot. So I'm also trying to stash down. Um, so that's interesting. I'm at, I started this, the year with 424 skeins. I have now 369 but I also gained apparently like 60 skeins since, <coughs> pardon me, um, since the start of the year. Most of them were like tiny scraps from my sister that I used right away, except for like 15 that I got from the 
uncommon threads yarn swap. That was a lot. So, because I'm going to make myself a vision in rust once I get there. I have lots of plans. Um, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I used to test knit a lot. And the only test knit I'm currently signed up for is my sister's, um, which is not an open test knit, it's just me. So I'm kind of late on the test knitting front. But it feels great to not test knit. Um, I didn't realize how stressed it was making me. And now I'm really, like, if I'm going to test knit something, now I'm waiting around for the perfect pattern. The, something that I really, really like. And the method of communication that I really like. I really liked, I saw a pattern that I really liked and I was really interested in testing, but the designer uses Slack and I don't like to use Slack. So I'm like, I no, I almost signed up, but then it was like, oh, the communication is via Slack. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. Uh, my preferred method is in group, Instagram groups. And then I can kind of manage Discord, but Teams, Slack, Mighty Networks, I don't want to do that. Especially not Yarn Pond. I especially don't want to do Yarn Pond. That one is really um, clunky. So, yes, I'm almost done, hopefully done by this weekend because we have Knit for Food. Um, that should be exciting. We're all jockeying for position and trying to figure out how we can knit or crochet the fastest. I found a 30 minute hat pattern um, and I shared it with dad. So theoretically, if it's a 12 hour challenge, you might be able to make 24 hats, which is more points because one hat is one point. That's more points than my sister who's planning to make socks because she can make a pair of socks in four hours. So she would only get 12 points, right? If she kept up her speed the whole time. So I think I just have to figure out how to get more than 12 points. I think that's my goal. My goal is 14 points. So I think I'm going to try for mittens and hats. And I think that's the move. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. So I am on the last color of the Fiberology Dye Works um, 10 stain set. Um, it's this really beautiful, like, vibrant red with some flecks of other colors in it. Um, so that's going to go into my Cozy Memories blanket, my Hexy blanket, my Granny Score blanket, and Shaylee's Magic Knot Ball. And then we're done. I've used up all of my Advent mini skeins that I had. And that is a total of, let's see... 24 plus 24 is 48, plus another 12 is 60, plus these is 70. I ended up holding back three of them. Um, they're all reds for various reasons why I didn't use the reds. Um, so 67 mini skeins since the start of the year, which is going pretty great. Um, I don't have any more, so I imagine my stashing down will get slower um, because I don't. These mini skeins go so fast and I'm holding them double. But overall, um, I think this is beautiful. I think it was a beautiful collection. It was really nice to be able to, this car was very suspicious of me. I don't know what they were doing. They just made a U-turn at the top of the hill. Um, it was really nice to sample her, some of her colors, see which ones I liked, see liked, I, I enjoyed working with her yarn. Super cute. I think she does a collection every year basically like a month long like last year was Agatha Christie and this year I believe it's um like elements like science elements um which is less my jam but I believe she's a science teacher so that would make sense um but yeah I don't know that many table elements on the periodic table of elements truly just you know the common ones that are discussed like carbon and oxygen and helium and hydrogen those ones that happen at the beginning and I know there's a song, but it's really, really fast. And it really just sounds like you're saying, um, um, at the end of every song, I cannot sing it for you. And I don't think I can put it in YouTube videos. But if you know, if you know what I'm talking about, proceed to sing it now in your mind. <laughs> um, so yes, our next videos, I'm not really sure what they are, to be honest. Um, probably more craft with me vlogs. 
Um, I'm a little bit ahead on the recording schedule, so you probably won't see this until sometime in April, but this today is March 24th, so we're a little bit ahead. Chaley and I, or I have goals and I'm forcing my sister to go along, of uh, trying to upload a video at least twice a month, if not weekly. We're trying to get into a better schedule of it, and I'm finding that I'm really enjoying the process of YouTube videos and creating content for YouTube, which I think it's kind of replaced me doing test knits. Um, I still haven't signed up for a test knit. It's been since November and it's actually been awesome. Um, I didn't realize how much added stress I was putting on myself by signing up for test knits and just worrying about making the deadlines and, um, Test knits oftentimes have pattern, like sizing issues or patterns that are, or errors in the pattern that I'm finding I'm, it's much more enjoyable for me to knit stuff with patterns that have already been tested. I am doing the Imagine Landscapes Mystery Knit Along. It's going to be a gnome themed mystery knit along. It, it, I think it's always gnomes, but this is my first one. I saw Emily of I don't think she's Crochet Creations anymore. I think she changed it, but it's Emily Crow. I saw her do gnomes, I think back in Vlogmas maybe, and I really enjoyed those. So that's what's up next is, pro that's probably the, the video I can guarantee next is, it's called All Nimble News is Good News? All Gnome News is Good News? Um, it's a self-striping themed gnome. And I think that's going to be so cute. I'm very excited for it. Um, it's only like 20 grams and it's a week long mystery knit along, which is like the perfect time for mystery knit alongs. Cause I've turned out, I realized I really do like mystery knit alongs and it's kind of like a test knit cause you have a community, but then you can also quit it when you don't like it. Um, and we've talked about this before. The Stephen West mystery knit along, while his designs are usually beautiful, it's just too much. I don't like the feeling of falling behind and it is honestly unattainable for me in my current lifestyle to knit a four skein or five skein shawl in four weeks. It just isn't a thing that happens. So, you know, some good mystery knit alongs, ones that are preferably, I don't know, I guess manageable, but you would deem manageable if you had a full-time job and, and potentially young children. I mean, my kids are young, but you don't have to have young kids to be busy. But yes, I, I get about two to three hours of knitting a night, crafting time after the girls go to bed. That's kind of, that's roughly it. So if you know a, of a knit along that's roughly that amount of knitting, drop the comments below. Let me know. Thank you for joining my rambly morning walk. Um, I'll see you in the next one.